I then got the chance to do the test with Haz at the end of that year. And I didn't tell Gunt still, by the time I did the test in Abu Dhabi at the end of the year, my leg still wasn't healed. I didn't want to tell him that because the testing in Formula 1 is so valuable. You don't want to risk a guy that's yeah. not ready to do it. So I didn't tell him at the time. And when I did my seat fit and stuff with the F1 car, I wasn't wearing the brace or anything. So I was just doing it normal. But then the day of the test, I put the brace under my suit, hoping that nobody would notice. And I got in the car and... Uh, and I drove. Nobody knew because I put it under the suit. So if you look at the photos of me from that first test in 2018, if you look at my left leg, there's like this bulky thing. <laughs> And that's I like I, your style, man. I, bro, your I was, style. I'm not going to miss a Formula 1 no. test because he might think I'm not ready. So I wasn't mm. going to tell them that my leg wasn't healed yet. That's commitment. I never uh, got the subject back with him, but I, I never actually told him that I was oh, still racing with the he brakes. Yeah, one day uh, <laughs> that's sick. I'll send him the video. But yeah, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You got to you know? do what you got to do. I respect yeah. that a lot.